Hey everyone, today I'm just going to start to uh, kind of show you guys how to put um, scales and do measurements um, with images on image J. So first, obviously, we're going to have to open up image J. We can get this from the NIH website. So this will come up. My image J is a little bit funny um, just because I have some extra stuff put into it. There we go. All right, so we're familiar with image J, so we can either go file, open, and we have to navigate to wherever we want the normal way. We can also go into um, a folder, click and drag. So first, what I'm going to show you guys is how to set a scale based on um, an external image. So this is an optical microscope image. So what we are going to do is draw a line from one end to the other, where each division is 0 0.1 millimeters. So between the 9 and 10 is one whole millimeter, and between this line and this line where my cursor was is a tenth of a millimeter. So we can hold the control and use the mouse wheel to zoom in. So what we want to do is zoom in enough so we can see where one ends and where it stops. Next, we want to click and drag so you can see where I can basically going 360 degrees. If we hold down the shift key, we will make a straight line. So what I'm doing is going from one end to the other. This is a very typical way of doing this because we know exactly where um, one division or tick mark begins and where the next one begins. We don't wanna go from the center to a center because the center is um, a little bit relative. So now we can zoom out by holding the control and using the mouse wheel. And we need to now set our scale. So we are going to go over to the image J bar, click analyze, and then set scale. This will bring up our nice little dialog box here. So it tells us the distance in pixels is 136. And we need to correspond that with 0 0.1 millimeters. So we're going to leave the pixel aspect ratio at 1 and then change our unit to millimeters. So for optical microscope images, typically you need a stage micrometer. Uh, what we're looking at at the same magnification as what you're taking images at of your sample. So to make this a overall um, global value. So what we're basically going to do is click this little checkbox. What that is going to do is the distance in pixels, so 136 pixels for all of the images that we are going to open um, next are going to be 136 pixels is equal to one tenth of a millimeter. Okay, so we're going to click OK. Now we can close this image out since we already have our scale set globally. And then we can bring in an image that we want to measure. So doing measurements is fairly simple. You always want to do the straight line. And again, just click and drag. So if we wanted to measure this particular grain, um, what we would do is click measure. And then we can do analyze measure, or you guys can see it's control M. I'll be using the shortcut. And that will give us results. It gives us the area, mean, minimum pixel average, maximum pixel average, the angle of the line, and finally the length. So this length is almost uh, three tenths of a millimeter. Okay, so that's doing measurements, um, fairly simple. And of course, we can copy these into any kind of um, program that we want. Excel, um, Sheets, etc. Okay. 
So finally is putting a um, scale bar on this. So I'm going to close this results out for a second. I do not want to save the measurements. Um, so to put a scale bar on your image, we go to analyze again, all the way down to tools, and then scale bar. So this brings up a scale bar, um, basically where we tell it. So here's our dialog box. Um, how long do we want our um, scale bar? So we can put 0 0.1 millimeters. That's a decent size. We can change the height of the scale bar in pixels. Um, 50 looks like it's a little too big. Let's try 40. And then we can change the font size. So let's change this. Start off with 50. That looks okay. Um, then we can change the color. There's a whole bunch of different colors. Um, typically, we want high contrast things. So typically black, white, or even red. Um, I'm going to go black. That looks a lot better. You can also put in a background. So if I chose a white background, we can make it white. I am just going to choose none. Then finally is the location. We can put it at the selection. Um, typically, we want to take this away from whatever image that we're looking at. So let's do the lower right hand corner. Obviously, you can choose upper right, lower right, etc. Okay, there's a few other options, high text, um, serif font or overlay bold text. So you guys can see what these do. Um, I typically just leave the bold text and then say that's okay. So there we now have our scale bar on our image. Finally, we have to save our image. So let's do file, save as, TIFF. This brings this up. We can navigate to our example images, and I will call this Calcite Fixed, and click Save. Okay, so now if we go back in here, we have our fixed calcite image with the scale bar. Okay. So let's close out of image J because we set that global standard. If we close out of image J, that'll reset everything for us. So let's close out, open image J back up. There we go. Now let's work with an SEM image. So the main difference between the optical microscope and the SEM is that an SEM image already has a scale embedded or a scale bar embedded. So here we can see that the scale bar is embedded in the image, but the problem is, is that we do not want all of this extra information because it is essentially meaningless to us. So um, magnifications are typically meaningless the accelerating voltage is slightly important, as well as the um, working distance and the detector that we're using. So we're going to basically use the same principles to um, measure things in the SEM. So first, what we need to do is set the scale. So again, we are going to use our line tool. Look at our scale bar, zoom in. And then we are going to draw a straight line, the width of the scale bar. There we go. And again, analyze set scale. So we're saying 108 is 0.8. Zoom out here. You can zoom out. There we go. So analyze set scale. So we know 108 pixels is equal to one. And then we can type in micron. This will actually put in the micron symbol for us. We don't have to check global because we're using the same exact image, okay? So we can click okay. And once we have that, we can use this rectangle tool. So this rectangle tool, you can do one of two things. You can basically take the whole image and then do control shift X. What this will do is crop out everything that is not um, selected. Alternatively, what you can do is select 
just the area you want to crop out. So let's make sure that we're getting all of that there. There we go. And then you can do control X. So here's the control X version. So that just gets rid of that. I don't like this particular one because this leaves this big black thing on the bottom of our image. Um, so let's undo that. Um, I like using the control shift X method. So let's redraw this rectangle like this. Here we go. Let's zoom in here, make sure we're getting all of those nice little pixels. Beautiful. So when I do control shift X, that gets rid of that bottom portion. And now we actually just have an image based on um, the actual image. We don't have any of that information on the bottom. Now, again, just like in our optical image, what we need to do is put in a scale bar. Okay, so again, analyze, tools, scale bar. So here we have a scale bar. Let's make this two micron scale bar, and then we can change these. There we go. Now see how it absolutely included our micron symbol? That's great. Uh, let's make it black, the white background. So there we have something that's high contrast that's not going to get lost in our SEM image. Okay, there we go. So finally, we are going to save as the same way. So save as TIFF and example images, we'll just put at the end, fixed. Well guys, that's all for now. Um, we'll see you next time.